So I've been looking at the front bumper lately of the D100, and I think it should be a relatively simple thing to pull the bumper, take a look at the bracketry, and either move the bracket back or take a piece out of the bracket in order to be able to pull this bumper back probably about an inch, inch and a half. I mean, there you can see just kind of how much it protrudes past the, the front of the grill. So I think I want to try to tuck it up just a little bit. Like I said, I think I should be able to get an inch, maybe an inch and a half, probably something more like an inch and a quarter. But uh, let's grab a tape measure and kind of see what kind of room I have. All right, so with a tape measure here in place, I definitely have room, because this should, this should come up and come over this part of the body if I just bring the bumper straight back. But I don't want to get into the, the side marker lights, so that gives me what, an inch and five eighths there. But I'm looking at this area here where it looks like it might be, uh, what, an inch and a half? So if I plan on maybe an inch and a quarter, I think that'll give me just the slightest bit of tuck and really help improve the, the looks on the front end of the D100. So I think the first step, kind of obvious, would be to drop the bumper so we can get a closer look at the brackets and determine if I can move the brackets or if I'm gonna have to modify them a little bit. Let's get to dropping the bumper. All right, so with the bumper off, you can get a clearer look at the bracket and the amount of space that I have, or in this case, don't have to work with. Um, here are the three bolts holding this bumper bracket onto the frame. My original thought was just to unbolt it, slide the bracket back, drill some new holes. But as you can see, this is the support for the front grill. So, there's no pushing this bracket, this bracket, back. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do is, on the inside here, I think I'm going to scribe the frame location and then bring it out an inch, inch and a quarter, scribe another line, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line straight out and then I can cut that center section out and then push this back to join up with the other piece and as long as I line up my marks I shouldn't have to worry about the bumper dropping or raising or changing the, the orientation of the front bracket so I think I'm gonna remove this bracket do some layout with it Try cutting it up and tackle it together and see how it works. All right, so there you can see I've got the driver's side bracket out and in the vise. Now you can see my scribe marks. There's one there, there's one right there. So I'm gonna cut the bracket, cut out the center section, and then as long as this line and right here line back up, shouldn't adjust the height of the bumper at all. I think it should line right back up. I'll tack all it together and we'll uh, see how it works back in the truck. Now that I've got both brackets cut to size, tacked together, and bolted back to the frame, let's see how the bumper fits. So I've got one bolt in each bracket, 
just the bottom one, just to kind of hold it in place. But you can see just how much, I mean, that is perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Look at that. I could not be happier with that. I really like the way that turned out. Pretty much even on both sides. I mean, look at that gap around the body right there. You couldn't really get much closer than that. Let's see, how's it look? Now you can see just how much that bumper is tucked up closer to the grill. That just looks so much better. Oh yeah, I really like that. I cannot be happier with the way that's turning out. I mean, that looks great. Um, so now I'm just gonna pull the bumper back off, pull the brackets, fully weld them up, and then give them a coat of paint and put everything back together. So everything has been welded, painted, and bolted into place. And there is the clearance of the tucked bumper. And that was only about, what, two and a half, three hours maybe worth of work. And that included, all right, maybe three and a half with setting up cameras and stopping to do, do some recording and everything. But overall, I mean, that was just not even a afternoon's worth of work. So I am really happy with the way that turned out. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.